And if you allow a negative energy state to propagate, mm -hmm. then people, that's a big worry because you can, um, those degrees of things are usually called ghosts, right? When you have negative energy states that are propagating. So a ghost usually is something that will have, you have a negative kinetic energy. So, and, you know, whenever, so Paul de Rock actually, you know, um, mm -hmm. you know, you know and, and Stuckelberg and Feynman actually, mm -hmm. right? They saw these negative energy states in the Klein-Gordon equation of quantum field mm -hmm. theory. Mm -hmm. And the way around that was to reinterpret that negative energy state as an antiparticle moving backwards in time, right? Thanks. So you inter you you said okay I accept that those mm -hmm. things are but it's real what what that re what that negative energy state really is a positive energy state right that's an antiparticle moving backwards in time if, right so um, that's one way out of it you reinterpret another way way out of it is you 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 know you identify you can identify if if if, if it's a fermion right it does you you do occupy these negative energy states like the Dirac C right and then the exclusion principle you know will prevent you know, the sea from collapsing. Yes, right? yes, yes. Okay. So, um, but you do have to confront with your theory why you would have this negative energy state that's bounded from below. And my, the ideas that I work on with my, you know, my students and colleagues um, was that what contributes our negative energy state is a bound state of fermions, right? And so bound states, and if it's fermionic, right? Could could be in that, you know so in quantum mechanics you know bound states are negative energy states so you know the right right the 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 um the Bohr rate you know, the energy um the ground the ground state energy of um of um of hydrogen is minus thirteen point six electron volts there's a minus yes, sign yes. there right so the negative energy states do exist in quantum mechanics and those yes, states yes, are yes. the bound states so bound states are negative energy states, mm -hmm. right? So that's kind of the game we played. And so we're able to get a bounce by having fermionic bound states, actually like a Cooper pair. And, but then uh, you run into other problems if you do that, because then you, you have to look, you know, if you do that, you, have, you can study fluctuations. And in cosmology, we're not only interested in just the homogeneous, you know, um, average expansion rate, but we need to consider fluctuations to talk about structure. And so you can ask if you turn on fluctuations, do these negative energy states cause runaway solutions? And that's an open-ended problem. You just watched a clip from the Theories of Everything channel. For the full video and all its magnificence, then click here. And if you'd like to see more, then subscribe. Enjoy.